A pleasant day to everyone. I am Miss Patilinti Oray, teacher 3 of Doña Mercedes Elementary School. So today I will be presenting my paper entitled Enhancement of the Existing Bicol Ginabatan Contextualized Learner's Material in Modern Tongue 2. The Philippines is a linguistically diverse country having more than 170 spoken languages. Yet the learner's materials that were published and distributed were only written in 12 mother tongue languages as of school year 2012-2013 and still being used as of the day. That is why the researcher conducted a study to assess and analyze the existing contextualized Bicol Ginabatan learner's material to identify its strengths and weaknesses and to enhance it to make it more suitable to the learners but still adhering to the curriculum standards. The study aimed to enhance and determine the strengths and weaknesses of the existing Bicol Ginabatan contextualized learner's material in Mother Tongue 2 and the difference between the existing to the enhanced version. The study employed the descript descript descriptive evaluative content analysis research design using the questionnaire checklist to determine the strengths and weaknesses of the existing Bicol Ginabatan contextualized learner's material in Mother Tongue 2 as basis for enhancing. A total of 23 teacher jurors assessed the existing LM and the enhanced version. Weighted mean, interclass correlation coefficient, and ANOVA were the, were the statistical treatment used. This is done to see whether there is really a significant difference or improvement be between the existing and the proposed LM. So, based from the initial assessment done in the existing legal and contextualized LM, Mother Tongue 2, it is very satisfactory in that it is applicable to be used but can still be improved, having a weighted mean of 3.63. Three weaknesses were identified in terms of in terms of containing sufficient activities, clarity of visuals to details, and layout. So Finding or having this findings or based from the findings, an enhanced Bicol Ginabatan contextualized learner's material was developed by the researcher to address the identified weaknesses. Um, the uh, researcher did addition, uh, addition of items and activities, addition of drawings and visuals, improvement of or replacement of the bl blurred images. So the results again. To validate the improvement done, another assessment was conducted to compare the existing, which is the before, and the proposed or developed LM, which is the after, using correlation coefficient and ANOVA. And based from the findings, there is really significant difference from, in terms of contains sufficient learning activities from F to O, clarity of visual details from 2.52 to 4.82, and layout. 2.30 to 4.18, which is very satisfactory. Results of the assessment shows that there, there is really a significant improvement from the existing to the proposed. Based from the results of the assessment feedback, of, feedback from the teachers can also attest to the significant improvement of the proposed LM from the existing one. In terms of layout, According to them, learners will be more interested if pictures are colored. Colored pictures will arouse people's interest. Pictures were not colored but clear and suitable for people's age. The researcher opt to using up to black and white for the sake of or ease for the production of the LM. Clarity of visual details. As supported by table 12 and 13, the enhanced LM has clearer visuals and that its atten attention to details was adjusted. They also acknowledged the presence of pictures and illustrations that accompanied the, the stories, poems, and other illus 
literatures in the LM since some stories, points, and other literatures did not contain pictures or any visuals. So some teacher jurors said that the pictures and other details are clear and that the pictures used can help the pupils visual, visualize the ideas, topics it is trying to convey since grade two pupils or the primary pupils are very visual learners. Contain sufficient learning activities. Activities are sufficient and are suitable to the learners. The activities were varied for pupils. The enhanced contextualized LM contains sufficient learning activities suitable to the learners and the target competencies. Activities are suited to the learners. So, what are my recommendations? The existing Bicol Ginubatan contextualized learners material in Mother Tongue 2 is very satisfactory. But then again, there are group, there are three weaknesses which can be improved. The existing Bicol Ginubatan contextualized learners material in Mother Tongue 2 have more strengths than weaknesses. The proposed enhanced Bicol Ginubatan contextualized learners material focus on improving the identified weaknesses. The enhancement of the Bicol Ginubatan contextualized learners material in Mother Tongue 2 was found to be significant. The feedbacks of the teacher jurors support and observe the observed enhancement in the enhanced learners material in Mother Tongue 2. So recommendations. Validity test of the enhanced Bicol Ginubatan contextualized learners material in Mother Tongue 2 should be conducted by future researchers to test its effectiveness. Adjustment to the existing teacher's guide should be conducted to align it to the enhanced Bicol Ginubatan contextualized learners material in Mother Tongue 2. Approval from the Regional and Division Education Unit in accordance with national policies and standards should be requested requested prior to the distribution of the enhanced legal Ginobat in contextualized learners material in Mother Tongue 2. Lastly, a similar study should be conducted in other districts to adapt the learners material to the learners dialect or mother tongue and to improve the existing LMs available to better suit it to the language environment and needs of the learners. This study is a great example of the collaboration among teachers in improving existing materials for it to suit the needs and aid in the teaching and learning process. So here are my references, um, books, dissertations, journals, and other internet resources. I hope this research can, can serve as reference or guide for future researchers. Again, I am Kathleen T. Araye, teacher three, and if you wish to contact me, you can, you can do that. Or you can message me at my email, fatilinoraye at gmail.com. That's all. Thank you.